Boom! What up, Solar Renekton only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. We are playing some Trindamir. Ooh, let's go, buddy. Playing some Trind in the top lane. We're against a Fiora. Um, I haven't played this matchup on the Trindamir side. I played it quite a bit on the Fiora side. Did did you just crit on me for 160 with a 1% crit rune? Are you kidding me? I can crit too, bitch. Adios. Double crit. See ya. <laughs> Smushed. Let's go. Alright. What am I trying to do this game? I'm not really sure. I mean, you'll obviously know because it'll be in the thumbnail. Uh, I kind of feel like I just fight. Oh, mistakes were made. I thought I was going to get more damage off minions. He also hit level 2 right there. Which is a little un unfortunate. But it's alright. Is he backing? That's really strange. I can teleport and shove the lane fast, though. Interesting. And I got the cannon minion. This is going to be a good day. Beautiful. Alright, wave shoved in. Let's try and clear out this one real quick. Damn, that crit was kind of unfortunate timing. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this back timing by him. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing ever. I want to run straight still. Come to my homie. Woo! Hands off, baby. Let's go. Good shit, dude. Easy peasy. He's got no teleport. He missed all of those minions. Holy shit. That could not have gone any better for your boy. I think I'm going to do a full lifesteal build. I'll probably get an IE in there. Just so I have uh, a little bit extra damage. But yeah. I'm feeling a full lifesteal build. That sounds like a lot of fun. Beautiful. Alright. Let's roll. He got so wrecked. I might even stay for another wave. Just to push this shit in. Wow. Yo, thanks for subbing, brother. I appreciate that, man. Much love, dude. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew. Because I'm getting a bunch of lifesteal here, so there's really not much you can do to stop me. I have red buff. Alright. He has 5 CS before he gets this wave. That's why I said his back was so weirdly timed. I get why he's backing, and it's not... If I don't have teleport, it's a good back. Let me just say it like that. If I don't have teleport, it's a good back. I agree with it. Let's get this. I feel like I'm going to pop off. It's going to put me a little bit behind, but I don't think it matters. I think I'm already ahead enough that I can just carry even without it. Even putting myself in a little bit of a power trough. Because this is basically you're, buying, you're spending 450 gold to not get that same value in stats. But you get bonus gold later and you can sell the item. Plus you get value out of the stats. I mean, it's not as much, obviously, as if I bought like a regular item. That's the whole point. It's a little bit weaker now when you buy it originally, but it scales really hard and you get all that 350 additional gold, plus you can sell it. Quite good. Uh, I'm just gonna refresh that vital. Walk off the screen, walk back in. Pretty sure I just kill him. Yeah, I don't really know why you do that. That was interesting. <laughs> Good try, sir. I am very far ahead. I'm real strong right now. I don't think he understands how much uh, minions he missed. Like, he's level 4 right there. That's alone is a 500 gold difference from being level 4. Each level you get about a, a, a 500 gold worth of stats. Not all of them are effective stats. Like some of them is like health regen, which obviously is going to do too much when you're like all in fighting. Like who cares how much health you regen. Uh, I kind of want to come mid. If I spin over this wall, I can use my ultimate. I can spin over this wall, right? I'm going to be super sad when I can't. Oh, put pressure on this guy. I'm fine with that. Put pressure on mid, too. He's going to get zoned off this entire wave. Then I can just get a nice deep ward in. I'm not missing anything in top right now. I've missed. That's the second minion I've missed. So, pretty good roam timing. Because I can always do the Scuttle Crab. That's going to trade even with those minions I missed. Because I missed two melee minions. But I'll get the Scuttle Crab. Oh, do I miss three melee? Nope, two melee minions. And I'll get the Scuttle Crab. 
It's taking a little while because I don't have any fury built up. If you don't have fury, you have less uh, crit chance. If you have full red bar, that's 35% crit. Ooh, that's big. That's big. If he sticks around, I kill him for sure. Yeah. And see, I can always just Thanks freeze this wave out. Thanks for teaching me how to miss cannon minions. Oh yeah, the earth is flat. <laughs> Research it. <laughs> Don't dismiss it before you have spent time on the subject. Hey man, I agree, dude. I agree. The earth is definitely flat, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Look into it, bro. Some Eddie Bravo right there. <laughs> so we just hold the wave here. I kind of cleared it a bit holding it, but... It still forces him to have to walk up if he wants to get any of these, so he's going to miss a few. My wave is eventually going to push back. Well, maybe not, depending on what he does. Let's see how greedy he is. Ooh. Cannon minion, shut your damn mouth, Twitch chat donator. <laughs> I get all the cannon minions. I'm just wondering if he's going to get aggressive on this cannon. If he tries, I all in and kill him. For sure. Otherwise, I just want to be last hitting here, making him miss quite a bit. Oop, I missed that one. Nice. Then I could always look to dive under tower. Making big things happen in the bot lane. Oh, kill the minion, no way. Wow, that's so unlucky. I'd be so mad if I was him. It walks past the two melee minions in front of it, and it goes on a rampage to kill the cannon minion. <laughs> That sucks so bad. I feel bad for the guy. Uh, I don't think I can just all in under tower. I don't think I have that kind of power. I'm kind of hoping he hits me. Because if he auto attacks me once, every single one of these minions is going to hit him. And that would be perfect. Because that's going to do way more damage than he'll do with the one auto attack. There's no way they win this. I would just kill the Trindamir. Or the, sorry, the... Uh, the Jarvan first. There's no way they win this. I have ultimate. I would 100% kill one of them before the other. Alright, you were right. RIP the cannon minion. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, he was just topside, so he's in red side jungle. Okay. Boom. Get a control ward here, because I have pretty much complete control of this lane. Halfway done with my coal. Ah, uh, this wave's going to slow push to me, so basically I'm saving my TP. And I'm going to miss two melee minions. Definitely worth it. Because now I can use my TP to bot lane. Maybe make a big play. A double kill. Something like that. Or TP down to a dragon. It would be better obviously if this was like, you know, infernal or something. But like I said, I'm going to miss two, potentially three minions here. Definitely worth saving the teleport. Do I really need that 60 something gold? Nah, not really. I mean, there's actually even a little bit more value on him because I have a coal. But yeah, I'm just going to wait for this wave to shove to me. He's going to get overextended. My jungler's topside. Might be able to make a play. If he walks up, I'll trade autos. Yep. I see the play too, my friend. I like it. I'd love to be able to build up some fury before this starts, though. If he goes for one of these minions, I'm just going to right-click him and hit him. So I got my jungler sneaking behind. He made such a huge mistake. Yeah. His his Q forward really screwed it up for him. Sorry, right, at least someone got that cannon. <laughs> it wasn't me, though. Yeah, his Q forward killed him. I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have killed him by myself when he screws up like that. Well, I guess I don't know. Maybe his W, if I don't dodge, the attack speed slow would be enough. So he could, like, disengage me. But yeah, he's in such a rough spot off after that gank in the early game. When his jungler came and we counter ganked it, that's just such a bad position. Because he's missing 20 minions under tower right there. In addition to losing the fight and me getting a double kill. So it's not like it's just one thing. Multiple issues in that scenario. No one cares, Doug. Hit me all you want. I'm just going to go farm your jungle. Ooh, they're doing Drake. I have teleport. I can just teleport right in front of this guy's face. One more auto? No. I think I'm supposed to be down there. I'm going. This teleport will just grab it for us and then I can cancel. Whoa! He stole it. What a beast. I got flayed there. Got him with a slow. 
Every time we auto attack, we're walking forward. So auto walk forward, auto walk forward. I can E over him. Hold up, I got the idea. I got the idea, boys. Oh, I need one auto so I can E. I don't have enough cooldown yet. Maybe I can make a play here. I'm fine taking tower because I can just activate R. All right, let's get out. All right, time to go. Bit unfortunate, couldn't get more there. Um, what do I want to do? I might go BT second. Just get a shitload of AD here. This is, feels like such a good buy. He gets uh, quite a bit off of that in top lane, though. Because he gets to shove in this wave. He's backing way too early. Like, you can you can estimate how long it takes me. I'll tell you how in a second. Nice recon. Woo! Might be a little too late, though. Vayne's going to fuck this guy up. He needs to get some kills first. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. But yeah, if, if I'm the Fiora in that situation, the second the second Trindamir goes out of my vision, so like I stop chasing, I'm out of the tower range, right? You just count to 8, and then it's 30 seconds after that. 8 seconds to back, about 30 seconds to walk the lane, a little bit less. And then it gets shorter, obviously, if you have boot 2, if you have home guards, that type of stuff. Zeal items. But yeah, you can pretty much guess how long it's going to take them to walk top. Because you can literally walk it and look at your timer, and then you know the timing forever. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a ward on the red buff because I know it's gonna be contested soon. Control ward here. Oh, that's a big mistake. Yeah, I can take the red for free now. I want a ward up here. I'm looking for a play on this guy. Ah, oh, there's a ward for them right here. Okay. Not the best. I can just lifesteal off this right now, though. I'm nervous he's going to get that last vital pop, and that would be enough to uh, trigger it. So, got to be a little careful around that. I can come around here, though. Nice. We end up getting the kill anyways. Go team. You can loop around. Nope. Is he a vision? Oh! Why would you go forward? so annoying to deal with. <laughs> We're auto-queuing there always, no matter if we could or not. So we, need to, we need to auto heal and then auto one more time if we don't crit. If we do crit, we just kill him, which is always nice. Alright, sweet. Keep pushing. I'm so strong right now. Typical 5 and one score for your boy. Might be able to take a top tower here. He's still dead for three. It's 15 minutes. They don't have home guards. Takes him quite a bit to get back. Have attack speed. Getting a catch here. They should just leave. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that was kind of wonky. Ooh. Good pick for us. Damn, Sejuani, though. She got super nerfed, too. Like, ridiculously hard nerf. I haven't seen her on my main account, like, at all. Uh-oh. Whatever. Fiora's coming down as long as she doesn't do anything. I'm going to keep pushing here. Fiora all, went all the way over there. Free damage for me. I'm going to walk topside so it's farther away from her. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit annoying. Oh! oh. Get wrecked. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. You eat that W. Too painful. The attack speed slow. Need to get better at moving out of it. Cause she's locked in the position for 0.75 seconds. So it's not that difficult to dodge. You just have to make it your focus. I'm just like, all right, I'll just stand here and eat this. And then your attack speed slowed by 50% for like two seconds, two and a half seconds. She gets like four autos in before you can trade back. I just need the dash plus one auto, but I get like body blocked in the minion. So I couldn't get that last auto I needed. Feels bad, man. Uh, I have teleport back top. Damn, super unfortunate I couldn't finish my item here. 
I'm gonna go like this. Probably just get a tabby. Ow. Could have also waited the W as she uh, tried to leave. You saw that plus 350? I just finished my coal. Real good. Alright. Get to five kills, start inting. Typical. Alright. I'll get I'll get IE after this. Just so I get get some crit going. So well, I already have crit. I have 35% when I got this red bar. But I want to get that bonus crit damage. So I get those huge hits. Since I do have a lot of AD in my build anyways. But mainly focusing on the lifesteal. Nice. I'm just going to rotate down. They are super low. Oh, there's a stupid tower here. Dang, they spot me off of that tower. That's kind of unfortunate. Might as well just snag this. Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't get hit by that, I think we're okay. It's the only thing that matters. Alright, I got enough gold to buy my item. Just back out of here real quick. Ah, uh, reset. Just reset, just back. You have a bunch of gold to spend, dog. You can probably finish your second item. Ah. Oh, he's 200 gold off. I'm gonna go bot right now. I wanna be split pushing here. Very strong right now. What do we got? 37% lifesteal already. Looking good. I also have, um... What's it called? Runic Armor. The mastery in the Resolve Tree. The one that gives you 8% increased regen and healing and lifesteal and all that shit. So 8% of the lifesteal that you have, not 8% lifesteal. So I have 37%, so what's 8% of that? Like, I don't know, 3.4 or some shit like that. Somewhere around there. But yeah, I'll add the IE in now. Just so I get some of that big damage pops. Uh, this is likely to be warded. I mean... Just kind of depends where he goes. If I have Ghost, I would 100% just chase him. Because I get a W, and then I get into range, and then I keep auto-attacking. He Qs. The second he comes out of Q, I Blade. Follow-up kill. I guess he does have a... He can knock me away with E, so that's pretty good, too. Hmm. It's actually not a bad matchup for Vayne, probably. Because he can also force out my... He might be face-checking here. Alright, sweet. I need to wait for my team to actually get pressure, though. Because essentially they could send two people right now. Because I don't know where anybody else is on the map. I probably should have also been sitting in this bush. And then use my wave to spot as well. Yo, thanks for subbing, brother. I appreciate that. Oh, this guy's trying to loop around. I'm following. Need to just kite. Perfect. Didn't even have to pop all oh, this pressure of the tower. We can go back and get this bot tower in a second too. Oh boy. Nice. I'll take it. Let me get one of the kills. I'm trying to build up fury here. I don't think we can end. I don't think we can end. Ugh, that's so sketchy. We're gonna get into some bad situation on the second tower. They're all coming alive in like three seconds. It's gonna be sketchy! Like, this guy EQing in when everybody's like half HP. I'm not liking that at all. We're just asking to get killed. Got the W slow. Yeah, we're just kind of asking to get killed here. Quite the overstay. Uh, might be able to spin back in. Ooh. Jesus Christ. I'm just not gonna ult there. Oh man. Yeah, just such a ginormous overstay. And there's really no reason to do it.
<laughs> oh man. I don't know, like, I don't know why he's trying to blame me here. Like, the play had nothing to do with my build. It was, we hit tab, we see that they're all be up with home guards in the matter of five seconds. We can basically calculate that we're not going to be killing the second tower in that time, in that time period. So they're going to be fighting under tower, full health, while we have people with, like, no mana, no HP. Has nothing to do with my build. 100% is, we should just need to back up. That's all. But, I don't know, if he wants to blame someone, go ahead, blame me. I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> It's all right. No biggie. Right after I win that fight for us too. Maybe miss that part. Just steals everything. See ya. <laughs> Get it! Aw, oh, man. That would've been glorious. Got it. Alright. <laughs> Ooh. That didn't do damage. The Fanatic Bush. Yeah, I just don't really see the point in fighting them. I'm gonna run mid push this wave in. Hopefully they back up. They don't send someone to answer immediately. I'll be pressuring your last tower. They have to send Fjord here. Well, I guess they can send Azir, but that's probably worse than Fjord. Because Fjord can deal with me, and Azir can actually wave clear really well. But yeah, this puts a ton of pressure. Ooh, nice pick. This puts a ton of pressure on this tower, because it got to feel someone really far away. I, I do think they sent the wrong person, though. And then I just stand here, and I just pressure. My, t my team takes tower for free. A macro play. Gotta love it. Do the same thing. It's less effective now because it's not... The distance between the two is less. But they can have someone sit here and still get back really quickly. I don't think these two can do much. Nice. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. Uh, part of me just wants to TP top and steal this whole wave. Push this plus one more wave. Let's do it. I'll have enough gold for my item. I'll have to sell coal. Am I right? 21, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do one more wave, then I sell coal. Got enough. Yay for math. It's a cloud drake, so if I lose that, who cares? We get pressure in this wave, I back. Sell, buy. Let's go. Yay for math. Look at that shit, dude. Perfect. Spin my way here with home guards. Should be able to get there pretty quickly. It's going for Triforce. Just taking a little bit of a detour, too. I have three items. He's got two. <laughs> Alright. Nice! Yeah, now we're getting those big crits. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go bot lane and push that out. Please don't go bot. Yep. Push mid. Let me push bot. Perfect. Well, I have some more life still here. Um, What do I want, though? I guess that's the real question. Push this in. I gotta be patient around this area though. Until I see, I see two, three. I saw Fiora's topside. Oh, now she bought, okay. I see four people, veins at my eyes still. I 100% just killed Fiora at this point. I just do too much damage. Gotta be careful about getting caught from here. So I'm gonna shade bottom. bottom. Do some of the AD. Oh, baby. That damage, though. Just gonna sit back. Boom! Did that hurt? 
<laughs> it's so pointless for her to trade with me. I have too much life steal. Even though she has a uh, a healing cut, it doesn't really do anything. Just hoping for the crit. I don't want to move that way because that's obvious where Thresh is. So sit back and relax. Annoying. Man, they got me stunned. Woo! Nervous about his crit. So I popped ult a little early. All good though. Ooh, nice. Pretty sure we can end off this. Got me stunned again, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. Alright, I think I got it right here. Whoa. GG. The penguin. Hell yeah. Alright, Chinmere is pretty nice. Can I cleanse? No, you can't cleanse everything anymore. I was gonna say, I was thinking about doing a QSS next and just cleansing Fior Ultimate. Back in the day when you could do that, that was so good. Cleanse Fior Ultimate and then Trundle was good too and you could cleanse Trundle Ultimate. And she was real nice. Whole lot of talking. This, this guy's a professional player. Watch out. In the high, high ranks of Platinum Four. Four slash five. Nice. Great job, boys. Great job. Easy peasy Trindamir God. What do I have? Like 40% lifesteal here? Not even too bad. Not even too bad. I mean, once I get this, I'm, I'm cool. Is there another lifesteal item with attack speed? Because that would be like perfect. Get a little bit more attack speed. I mean, obviously I can go like Shiv or something, right? But if I'm going to do that, then why don't I just do Bork, Shiv, IE, right? I like this, though. The lifesteal feels ridiculous. Even when I had the healing cut, I was still healing for like 300 a hit, which is kind of dope. But anyways, GG Well Played. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll make sure to tune in next time. Peace.